1975, the world's attitude towards some ocean creatures changed radically. That's when a film based on Peter Benchley's novel, Jaws, tapped into the most primordial of human fears. Before his death, Benchley remembered what inspired him to create one of the screen's most frightening monsters. The shark was like a maniac to me. It was an unstoppable, uncontrollable force. And that, when I was a child, was always the most scary thing, was the maniac, the, the guy with the ax who you couldn't stop. Peter Benchley has spent years now trying to establish a, a counterpoint to the myth that, that sharks are really out to get us. Made a good story, but that's all it was, was a good story. If there's one thing I know for dead certain, it's that I couldn't possibly write Jaws today. I could not turn this beautiful beast into a villain. In movies like Jaws, you know, I know they're you know, they, they sell a lot of tickets to people who want to see movies like that, but in many ways they also distort uh, the wonderful nature of that creature. Unfortunately, the damage was done. The demonizing of the great white shark in Jaws, which was meant solely to entertain, may have unintentionally put some species in danger of going extinct.